Hi YouTube, it's Debbie here from the Partially Off Grid and Homesteading channel and I wanted to do a fall video of the garden, well the garden that was there and our fruit trees. We have an apple, a pear, actually I think we have two apple trees, a pear tree and a, I want to say crab apple tree, yeah. Next year I'm hoping to do some type of a fruit recipe video with the crab apples. I've been watching quite a few and there are a lot of options for, well not a lot, but there are quite a few options for doing, you know, the canning with the crab apples. So I'd like to do that next year. And let's go stand this way. There's the chicken coop. Well this year it is a shed but maybe next year the year after we'll have chickens again and there's my composting bin and going this way we have all oh, the, the little castle for the kids <laughs> and okay our maple trees and, well there's our barbecue and table we're getting ready to close everything up for winter so and the shed shed and junk The soybean field that is beyond our property, that's not our property. We just have the acre and a half here in the middle. But that's fine. Much rather live in the country than the city anyway. Oh, you know what? I want to go around this corner here. I'm going to take you on a little swirl, people, so don't um, get dizzy. Oh, I'm going to get my old body up. Jade, get your ball. Come on, girl. Got my dog here, Jade. You want to say hi? Come here, Jade. Can't get her face. Okay. Um, let's go this way. I want to show you our weeping willow tree. Last year, we had the tree doctor out, and he's like, "Oh, it's dying. It's, you know, you got to cut it down." This thing was huge, mind you. Well, we cut it down, and I told hubby, you know, leave the stump because, uh, oops, I got bit by something. Ow, that little gnat hurt. <laughs> um, I told him to leave the, you know, the tree stump tall because maybe um, a friend of mine who is an artist, maybe she'd like to carve it or, you know, something. So we just kind of took all the big branches off, and we cut her down. Sadly, we didn't want to do that. Well, in the spring, look at her. She came up. She's beautiful. So, I don't understand. I guess we cut all the dead off of her? I don't know. So, looks to me like she had a bug or she still has them in her bark. Let me get a little closer and show you. So, what I'm thinking to do is um, I'm going to just put some diatomaceous earth all over it. What the heck? It ain't going to hurt it. It'll kill whatever's on it. The tree doctor said it was weather. But, personally, I think it was some type of a bug. But... I'm not a tree doctor, but the way it looks to me, like something was trying to eat it up. So there's Jade. Hi, girl. You got your ball? Want to bring it to Mama? Come on. Drop. Good girl. All right. She wants to play a minute, folks. So hope you don't mind. Let me throw this for her. Watch it, girl. <laughs> she loves her ball. I wish she loved her ball as much as she'd like to pay attention to me when I take her places. <laughs> Watch it, girl. <laughs> good job. She's a good girl. She's my baby, ain't ya? Yeah, I'm on my baby. Okay, watch it, Jade. Good job. She tries her best. She's good. She really is. She tries so hard. One more time. Okay, people. Sorry. I don't mean to keep moving the camera. Watch it, girl. Good job. <laughs> so, next year. Okay, come on, girl. Next year, we're going to do a few more sunflowers. I'd like to do some stuff with sunflowers as well. I know there is something, some option with the seeds and all this and that, but I'm not all that yet, so I just do what I can. We grew, grew them this year. Well, we usually grew them every other year, 
and they're looking pretty cool. See? They're beautiful. Our corn did okay, but we didn't really take care of it this year. We kind of were just experimenting with this corn this year, my dad said. This is really my dad's garden. And you know how people are with their garden. He doesn't want you touching it. <laughs> so I really didn't come out and mess with it too much like I should have, though. We missed the corn, actually, when it was really sweet. We were in and out of town so much. We had a lot of functions in September. September was like function month. And that's supposed to be my canning month and harvest month. And it was... <sighs> Every weekend we had a we had three birthdays and two weddings, so it was crazy. And this month doesn't look to be much easier. We only have two birthday parties. Anyway, I just wanted to give you a fall video. And the trees changing. Actually the trees let's swing this way slowly. Slowly pull you this way, out by the road. Jade's going in the, in the shade. She's like, forget the sun. Uh, what I wanted to say was that the trees across my road actually started changing color in August. And I was like, what? And they started falling. So I don't know if that's a sign for a early winter or bad winter or any of that, I don't know. Oh, the black walnut trees are doing good. Swing around this way. Make sure my dog stays over here by the road pump and goes up and down the road. Good girl. Good girl. She used to want to run to the road every time a car went by like they were coming to see her. Okay, so we tore up, we had uh, those, you know, bushes that you put at this, around your house, and they are just, I mean, they're really good to keep the wind, but they are just filled with those wasps, and I said, I can't deal with that, especially, you know, like if the kids come over, so we pulled them out, now I'm going to scrub the house on the side there, because it has like the green, and I did that already out back. God, these gnats are eating me up. That's why I keep jerking. They're biting me, little pests. So what I'm going to do is what, what we're doing. He's pulling up the uh, stumps. And then we are going to plant marigolds. And I have, well, we have one, not marigolds. I'm sorry, mums. I'm thinking marigolds. That's what I, I like the marigolds to keep the bugs away. I always get them every spring. But here's a mom, one little lone mom. She's pretty though, but I got some yellow mums to put out and I had my other pots out. My lavender, you know, it looks okay, but she was like dying and I got worried. I said, I'm not gonna be able to plant them, but she came right back. So did these pretty little flowers. And my centronella, which I love my centronella. I love my lavender as well. One of the lavenders did die, so I ditched that. But, uh, well, actually, I didn't ditch it. I cut it, and I hung it so I could have the, um, you know, the uh, buds. So here's the other lavender. Here's a whole bunch of weeds. <laughs> um, and here's the one that is in the ground. Now, I have an issue with this lavender. I love her. Everything's doing good. But there is a wasp nest in it, and I don't want to spray anything on it to get rid of the wasps. I'm afraid it'll kill my lavender. So I can't even pull the weeds around it. There went one right there. I don't know if you guys seen it, but it just flew out. So what I'm going to do, the hubby is not as, assess, um, I don't know if you want to say, if the wasp just, he doesn't care <laughs> if they sting him, I guess, or if the wasps don't care about him. But he can get right down there. So I'm going to have him pull the weeds out around my lavender. And hopefully in the fall, I'm going to get rid of this wasp nest out of my lavender bush. It's right... Let me see if I can... I'm afraid the worker is going to come out and sting me. It's right there. 
see if you can see it, but let me get away because them things do not like you around their nests. And they were real bad this year. Real bad. I had to cut down two bushes because of them. So, and there's Jade taking a break. Where's your ball, girl? Where's your ball? Find it. Good. Good job. Bring it. Come on. Good job. Anyway, we're going to close off here. Love and peace. Take care, everyone. Say bye. Bye-bye, J.D.